Hey guys and welcome to Fez Air Software. Today I'm doing a user requested video on how to remove the muzzle brake on a DE M904G. So I just want to make a, a note on safety, whether I'm uh, disassembling, unboxing, chronoing, whatever it is I'm doing, I may always make sure I'm in a completely safe environment. So that means most of my videos, um, I'm always wearing eye protection, uh, just to make sure that my eyesight stays safe, stays safe. Before I do that, I always make sure that there's no ammunition in uh, any of the mags or in the gun itself. I make sure that the mags are unloaded and unwound to make sure that nothing can happen with that. Obviously, if I'm chronoing, then I've absolutely definitely got my eye protection on to protect myself. I even make sure that my batteries are removed and out of the way so that I know I'm in the safe environment. I also make sure that there's nobody else around as well either so I'm always in a safest possible environment. If you are working with airsoft stuff please make sure you do the same. Hi guys and welcome back. If you do enjoy this video today please do like and subscribe because you're really going to help me out. So this is another requested video again where people have been asking about how to get the muzzle brake or flash hider, whatever you want to call it, off the front of an M904 by Double Eagle. Now, as you can see, there are marks on there. I have had a little go at this uh, just because I didn't want an AK-12 style battery cover incident to happen all over again on camera. So, first thing you have to do is underneath, you can see there's a little hole here and there is a tiny little grub screw in there. And that is the big issue that a lot of people have been having initially. So, I've got my precision uh, screwdriver set just to remove that. Now I'm using a Torx 6 to remove that. Although it is a hex key bolt, uh, you don't have to remove it fully. I just find it's a little bit easier if it's completely out of the way. So I've got, that was a Torx 6 bit. Now it is a negative thread after that. However, the first turn is gonna be really, really difficult. So obviously you're turning it the way that you would normally tighten a, a normal standard screw. It's gonna be the way, the way that you loosen it off. So grab my grips. Just going to take a really firm grip on it and pop it and then it's just going to come all the way off without any issues and you can see there that's the little track bring that up to the camera this is a little track where the grub screw sits in to keep it secure and you've got a little o-ring on there and things so you've got a simple system there just to remove. Now make sure you remove that grub screw. If you don't and you carry on doing it, several things are going to happen, all of which are bad. One, you're gonna really damage the threads that are underneath uh, the, uh, this muzzle brake. And if you do get this off, I'd be surprised if the threads were in a state where you could actually put on a new suppressor. The other thing that's going to happen is that you're actually going to damage the grub screw. So it's probably not gonna tighten down very nicely again uh, and stay secure. So you're effectively going to ruin your the end of your outer barrel. Um, so please make sure that you don't try and brute force it off. Please remove that grub screw first. Then get your grips on it just to start the unscrewing process. And then the rest is good. So hope that's been useful to you. Please do remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.